Hi, so thanks very much for deciding to watch this quick training video with me on how to create photos that people pay for. A uh, quick introduction to myself, so I'm Andrew Mason. I've been a professional photographer now for about 15 years. Before that, I had a very regular job in some big companies and also in the public sector, and I made the transition to making all of my income from photography. So it hasn't been an easy journey. Well, at the start it wasn't, but I now make a really good income from photography, and I'm really glad that I have made that move. So hopefully I can help you do the same thing. I also run something called the 36 EXP Photographer School, where we help photographers achieve their photography goals, whether that's as a complete beginner or becoming a wedding photographer or just creating some outstanding photos around London. And I also run something every year called the London Photo Show, which is a huge exhibition on the South Bank where we have around 50 or 60 photographers showing off their work in a huge atmospheric gallery space. So let's get on with what we actually are supposed to be talking about here, which is helping you make some money out of photography by creating photos that people actually want to pay for. So a big challenge when you're transitioning from creating photos for fun or for your, for your own enjoyment is that the images that you create when you're doing that are purely for yourself. If you want to create photos that people pay for, you need to start thinking of in terms of creating images that serve a purpose for somebody else. So what you need to do when you are out creating photos, whether that's as art or if you're thinking of setting up a photography business that is a service that people will buy, you need to consider carefully exactly what purpose those images serve for other people. So that's who is your ideal customer. So you need to do some work around identifying who your ideal customer is, which we can do. And then you need to think exactly how your photos serve a purpose for that, for that person. So there are two questions that you need to ask yourself about the photos that you take or the photos that you're going to take. And they are, the first question is who are the images for? That is, who are your customers going to be? Who is the exact person that is going to buy your photos? And if you can't identify that, then you need to really go back to the drawing board and work out who exactly your photography is for. And you need to think carefully about what are the images for. So there's no point just having a nice portfolio of images of a range of different things without understanding who they are and what purpose they serve. So photos can serve lots of different purposes to lots of people. They can be fantastic art that fills a hole on somebody's wall, or they can be images that get somebody a job or create outstanding memories. So you need to work that out. What exactly is the purpose of your images and what are your images for? So let's think a little bit about why people buy things. This is broader than just photography, but there are three main reasons why people buy things and therefore there are three main reasons why people will buy photography. The first reason is that people buy things and people buy photography to get a job done. So people have a task that they want to achieve and when they are trying to get that task done they will look for photographers who can fulfill that task. So that task can be functional, it can be I need to get a new job, I therefore need a new headshot, it can be I need to fill some space on my wall. So I need to have a fantastic piece of art on my wall. They may need to sell some products and therefore they're going to look for a product photographer. They need to may have a job that they want to remember their wedding day. Therefore they are going to book a wedding photographer. Jobs can be more than functional though. They can also be emotional. That's in terms of creating memories. They can be um, social so that means that they may want to have photos to look good to their friends so jobs that people want to get done can be a huge range of things but you need to think about your customers and what jobs they are trying to get done it's not about just generally creating a photo or buying a photo but deeper down to them what tasks and what jobs are you going to help fulfill when they buy your photography People also buy things in order to gain a benefit. So if I'm talking about a portrait photography session here, the, there's different levels of benefits that people get from buying products and different levels of benefits that people get from buying photography. So if I want a headshot done, for example, my expected benefit is that I will have a photo that looks like me. But my desired benefit is I get a photo that I'm really, really happy with. I'm actually pleased that that photo is a really good representation of me and I look happy and relaxed. 
And then we can also look at unexpected benefits. So that could be that I got more photos than I expected I was going to get. The shoot happened more quickly and it was totally painless. So think about in terms of creating value with your photography, think about what is the basic level of benefit that somebody is going to expect, but also think how you can exceed their benefits, how you can give them benefits above and beyond what they would expect from working with you as a photographer, whether that's buying your art or booking you as a photographer. There's also another thing that, another factor that comes in when you're thinking about why people buy stuff and why people buy photography, and that is because all of the obstacles in their way have been removed. So it may be, yes, that I see this amazing photographer that I want to work with and it gets all my jobs done and it will make me realize all my benefits, but that photographer is based 400 miles away. So there's a huge obstacle to me getting that job done. So I'm not gonna choose that photographer. I will choose another photographer. So think about what obstacles are in the way of people that when they are thinking of using you as a photographer. So these obstacles could be they're scared of having their photo taken, they're nervous that the photos won't look how they want, they think that the photo won't look good on the wall, that the shoot will take too long, that you may turn up late, that you're not the right sort of fit for their company, that their boss won't like the photos, that they won't sell many images, that they will have to send their products to your house, which is a long way away in their valuable products. So think about, as well as making sure that you get jobs done and tasks done and that you realize lots of benefits for people, make sure that whatever services you're offering and whatever products you're trying to sell, that you remove the obstacles in front of the person who's trying who's going to become your customer and that you make it as easy as possible and you reassure them as much as you can that you will remove any fear or any obstacles or any challenges or any concerns that they may have about buying your product or services. So just to recap, valuable photography is something that gets a job done, it's something that realizes a gain for a customer, and it's something that removes obstacles in the way of getting that photography done or that picture bought. And again, obstacles are a really important thing. So think clearly about, there's so many photographers out there who are doing similar things, but if you can work out ways of making what you do more stress-free, more convenient, easier to work with and have delivery on time and everything just going seamlessly for your customers, that is one way to create amazing value for your customers. So make sure you remove all barriers in the way of get people having to work with you. Okay, so once you've worked out what jobs your photography does and what benefits you gain, you then need to match that with your ideal client. So if you're thinking about becoming a photographer who serves clients in terms of surf, uh, in terms of a service that you offer, or if you're thinking about trying to sell your art, you need to picture your perfect client and then you think, okay, what job does your photography do for that specific person? So kind of draw a character caricature of your ideal customer, think this is the sort of person that I want to work with, and then clearly map out exactly what job your photography does for them. And also work out exactly how your photography removes any problems with getting the job done for them. And also really explore what gains your customer will experience. Unless you do all of these things, you're kind of creating photography which may have a value, but if you, you don't understand how your value maps onto what your customer needs, then you can't create valuable photography. There's no, but your photography has no value if there's no customer at the end of the day who wants to buy your photography from you. So you need to make sure that you clearly map the value that your customer has onto the needs of your a customer. So think about your customer, who they are and what jobs is this person trying to get done. If it's a job seeker that you're trying to work for, for example, to create headshots, you need to think, okay, how does my photography ensure that that person will get a better job? How does that photography ensure that, that, how does your photography ensure that any problems are removed? Make sure it's convenient and it's quick and it happens on time for them. And also ensure you understand exactly from the customer's perspective, what gains that the customer will experience with working with you. So if you think of a wedding photographer, for example, you need to make sure that you the, that the clients know exactly what they will get from you and they will understand that they will have their memories preserved and they will have a fantastic record of their day to look at for the rest of their lives and that is the gain that they will expect from experience and ex 
they will get from working with you. And also creating value with your photos is not just about the photos themselves. People may love someone else's photos way more than you, but there are way more other factors that people consider when considering who to choose and therefore who is the most valuable photographer than they can work for. And these are things like time, how long it takes to get the photos done or how long it takes to get the photos delivered, how convenient it is to work for, what is the brand and what is the personal brand of the photographer they're working with do they associate with that brand does it match their personal story is it someone that those who matches their values this is a really important thing that adds value to what you do how is the experience of what you do how is the experience of working with you how does that enhance the their your value can you make your experience more valuable by adding extra things on and making it a higher end experience how's your location are you close to them do they have to travel far can you come to them how does location affect the value of what you do and also you can increase the value of what you do by enhancing your reputation, by winning awards, by having exhibitions, by being a helpful person in the community around, around where they live or in the sector that they work in. So in a nutshell, creating photos with value means solving problems for people, getting a job done for people, making sure that people realize the gains that they expect from getting photography from you. It also means removing any obstacles to getting that job done, making it as easy as possible to work for, alleviating any pains, removing any concerns. And it means mapping that clearly onto who your ideal customer is. That's the really important part of this, is that you need to understand who your customer is. Customer is. You need to understand what jobs they're trying, trying to get done in terms of whether they're functional jobs, in terms of selling things, or whether they're emotional jobs, in terms of creating memories, or social jobs in terms of looking good in front of friends or whatever their jobs are that they're trying to achieve in their life and how your photography fits into that you need to make sure that you understand what the gains that your customer expects from getting photography from you and how you can meet those gains and how you can exceed those gains and make your photography really make sure that they get unexpected benefits out of working for you and you need to remove any barriers to working with you whether that's time or location or convenience or the fear factor or any concerns that they have and if you do all of those things and you match those things properly to the correct niche audience and to the correct clients you will be able to create photography that people pay for and that means that you will create valuable photography and you will make money from photography